Rock Computer College. Define quality training in information technology. In this video, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make a poster in MS Word. And by the end of this video, we'll have something looking similar to this. Now let's get started. So first, you'll go to File tab, then select New, then click on Blank Document. Now the first thing when you're creating a poster is that you want to customize the size. You want to change the size. So you'll come to the Layout page, then under Size, you can select from these options that you have over here. Or you can click on more paper sizes and customize your own. So I'll customize mine and work with uh, 26 centimeters 0.4 on both the width and the height. And once you're done, click OK. And you'll see that your blank document will change its size dimensions. Then from here, I want to insert the background that I want to work with. So I'll come to the Insert tab and click on Pictures. Now, I had downloaded the pictures from online, so I'll just select them, then click Insert. And here they are. Now, once you insert an image, it's hard to move it around in your document. So what you do is you click on this icon over here, then you choose a layout option, then click on Fix Position on Page. Now this will make it easier for you to move the image around and to resize it as much as you want. So I'll make mine a bit larger. And that looks good. Now I'll add, I'll add the other picture that I want to work with. Again, the Insert tab, Pictures. Then go to where that picture is. So this one is under Desktop. Uh, and here it is. Then click Insert. Now again, you click on this icon so that you can be able to move the image around. Click on a layout option, then select fix position on page. Now this will make it easier for me to move this image around. Now another thing that I want to do with this image is to remove the background. So I'll select the remove background command and then it will make a selection for me and the magenta side part will be deleted from this image. So I'll add to that selection and as you can see now it has deselected the face now to undo this just select the mark areas to keep then select the areas that you want to keep in your image so definitely i want to keep the face and the hair something like that Now this looks better then once you've made the selection click keep changes now here you have my image without the background you can resize it if you want then position it where you want it so i'll have mine over here now once that is done i want to add an, a shape here i want to work with the shape so I'll come to the Insert tab, then click on the Shapes command, select the shape that I want to work with. So I want to work with a Pentagon, then I'll draw that out, then I'll resize it. You can get as creative as you want with this. So that looks perfect for me. I'll make some adjustments to this side. Yeah, now that's perfect. Now I want to add another background to this shape. I don't want to work with the blue. I want to add another background. Now if you want to add an image to a shape, you come to the shape fill command, then select the picture command. Now I want to work offline since I've already downloaded that image. Come to my downloads and select that image click insert and as you can see it will be inserted in your shape now from here i want to add a goldish outline at the edge so i'll click on the shape outline select the color this is the color that i want to go with then i want to add a little bit to it to make it a bit thick so i'll work with that and there it is it looks wonderful 
Now I want to add text to this shape. So what you do is you come to the insert tab and select text box, then click on draw text box. Then you'll drag out on the area where you want to make your writings. Now this text box will come with its own um, fill and outline, but I want to work with the background image. So I'll just select shape fill, then say I don't want a fill and go to shape outline and say I don't want to work with an outline so I'll select no outline now it will be left like that now I had already written some of the things that I'll use on this image now I'm making a Christmas card so I'll just copy that and paste it over here now then you can format your text come to the home tab you can make the text larger like that um change the font so i'll make it a bit larger then move this up a little bit i want to make this text a bit bold so click on the bold command and there we have it now you can still continue typing in this text box if you want but I find it easier to work with different text box because it makes it easier to position and align your work as you want. So I'll just come here under the insert tab and add another text box. So draw text box, come and drag it out over here. Again, I'll remove the shape fill. So no fill and remove the shape outline. So no outline. Then again, I had some text over here. On my notepad so you click that you copy i'll minimize that then you come here and you paste it again you want to format your text so i'll come to the home tab increase the size change the font So I'll just undo that. Um, make this a little bit smaller. Perfect. Now, as you can see, it's easy for me to position this wherever I want without disrupting this. So I'll position it over here. And there we have it. Make this a little bit larger. Perfect. Now you can go on and add and add more text here if you want, like maybe uh Merry Christmas wish, Merry Christmas wishes, a uh, message to your loved ones, or whatever you want, or maybe it's an event, you can write two writings over here. So all you have to do is come on to the insert tab, text box, draw text box, drag this out over here, then type whatever you want. But first you'll have to remove the fill and the shape outline so i'll just use a shortcut to type in some word some words that is equals round then opening and closing parentheses then click enter and that's how you create a poster in ms word now you can create a birthday card a gift card a halloween card whichever card you want using word and it's real simple it's real fast you can customize this with your own colors if you want, your own background, your own images. And it's a fun thing and it's very, very simple.